There will always be hearts that can grow on their own, and the free birds that sing their own song all alone. But my own heart needs a love that can show I'm not alone and will be free of the need to sing Old freedom songs Namaste, my name is Ramesh Thapal My house is in Chiton 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 Dia nak cuma khusus bagi dia cuma curi dia cuma dia nak cuma kan dia kan jual. Children are just treated like a commodity. It's all about their value to somebody else. Child traffickers go into these rural, uneducated villages and they corrupt these families that are already so vulnerable. Take their money, whatever little money they have, and tell them that they'll provide a better life than we Kathmandu. And they're so thirsty for this hope that they end up just buying it and sending them to Kathmandu. Then the reality for them is even sadder. Again, they're just another commodity. Who will they earn money for? Maybe they'll go into a corrupt home where their value is bringing the likes of me and you there and trying to get a donation from us. Maybe they'll be sent out in the street to beg if they're cute, if they're small. The girls usually end up in India, in the sex trade or the brothels here. And then the older kids, they're not really any value, value to anyone anymore, so they're just abandoned on the streets. That's why you see all these street children who are sniffing glue and trying to escape this very real reality for them. And they're so young. And that's their Kathmandu has thousands of children living on the streets and in corrupt and neglectful children's homes. In 2005, Viva Bell and Dave Cutler established the Umbrella Foundation in order to address this growing problem. With the help of the Child Welfare Board, Umbrella has been instrumental in the closure of many of these corrupt homes. And so far, we've managed to rescue over 360 children. We now run eight of our own homes where we can insist on a high standard of care for each child. The children under Umbrella's care have had to go through more in their short lives than anybody should have to cope with. So Umbrella work hard every day to compensate for their lost childhoods and ensure they get the care and attention that they deserve. Due to the children's backgrounds and exposure to sometimes physical and psychological abuse, the health and general well-being of the children is paramount in all aspects of our work. All children have access to doctors and counsellors in our on-site medical room and counselling centre. You were living on the streets? Uh... How long for? One year, three, uh, six months. Trouble was for me. At night time, I did not get proper place to sleep. That was trouble mm. <laughs> for me. There are many troubles. Uh, I become hungry two, three days. <laughs> no food? Uh, yeah. But I used to manage yeah. <laughs> to exist. At night time, uh, on the side of road also, if I got little bit uh, rain resistance place, I used to sleep there. Okay. Yeah, if we take glue, we won't feel more hunger. Yes. More yeah. hunger, and we won't feel cold. Uh, not uh, black, like uh, in this uh, world, only me, if I uh, sleep that glue, only me, there is nothing. Uh, we feel that education is the strongest tool that we can give to these children in order to give them the best chance at a brighter future. All of our children attend good schools and we are committed to their education until they're at a time where they can stand on their own two feet, be that through further education or vocational training. Where possible, we try to reunify the children with their families.
They may not have seen their families or villages in many years. Today we've had 49 successful reunifications, although this is a complicated and potentially risky procedure, so obviously not one that we wish to rush. In recent years, our reach has grown to include the poor rural communities of Gorje, which is located just outside the Kathmandu Valley. We promote education for boys and girls, especially those deemed to be in lower castes. We support five local schools through stationary support, uh, school renovations and our Food for Education programme. We will also fund the community's first help post, which will cater for approximately 30,000 people and which will promote health education, including family planning. So I guess that's what we're appealing for today, more individuals. We need help. Uh, the economic crisis has, has had an impact on all of us, and even those over here have had very little to begin with. Um, our numbers of sponsors has dropped dramatically, and the costs this side just keep on rising. There's some months over here where we literally are struggling to stay afloat, but this could all be turned around with the help from a few more people. We need people to become a sponsor, give a donation, attend a fundraiser, or even join our volunteer programme. Visit us over here, see the kids for yourself, and, uh, and see the work that we're, that we're doing. My name's Mick Bromley, and uh, very proud to be here for the first time. I'm meeting Nisha, who I uh, sponsor here at the uh, Umbrella Foundation. And uh, I've known about the Umbrella Foundation for about five years now. Uh, I run a trekking company called Wilderness Trekking. And through that business, we also sponsor two other children here at Umbrella, and all that all that goes towards uh, helping the children go to a, go to a, a good quality school and to, to live in this this pretty beautiful place with a very supportive environment. So um, I'm quite overwhelmed to come here and actually meet Nisha for the first time. We've swapped some emails and seen a photograph, and uh, it's it's yeah, it's quite emotional for us both to sit here and just uh, just meet. Yeah. My name's Roisin, I'm 23. This is Ifeni, I'm from Colombia. This is Anya, I am from Dublin in Ireland. Lynn Allshire, I'm 28 years old, I'm from the United States. My name's Carl O'Byrne, I'm from Dublin, Ireland, and I'm 27 years of age. I came to Umbrella because I, I want to do something for the world. Put my free time to good use and come out to Nepal to volunteer for the summer. So I heard about Umbrella through my sisters. Uh, I first heard about Umbrella through a friend. And I came to work with Umbrella just to really do something for children or something to give something back to people. I decided I would do it. I've always wanted to do volunteering. Favourite times, having fun with them, whether it's older children, just sitting back, relaxing and talking to them or doing Montessori uh, at break time, just playing with kids and picking them up and laughing and chasing them around and just really seeing their faces really, so it makes a difference really. It's great, the kids uh, have a lot of energy and they're a lot of fun, they, they work really hard at their studies and uh, just like to, like to be wrestled with and uh, they like to colour and draw and all kinds of stuff, all, what all normal kids like to do. I think there's something here for everybody, uh, especially if you like working with children. Um, it's it's really satisfying to be giving your time to something uh, such a, a good cause. Um, you really uh, feel like these kids are well taken care of when you leave, and you feel like you can have a, a positive impact on their lives. Yeah, just uh, sometimes I go to the to the houses, especially with the girl houses, and uh, do some exercise like with music and choreography. You know, like maybe with Shakira's song or something. Um, with Umbrella, it's been everything's been so good. All the staff, all the kids, all the DDs, dies. Yeah, the kids are just brilliant. Mm -hmm. Every day, you just look forward to getting up and going down and hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. uh, every day, there's just something. I think just even you, you walk, you walk the kids to school, you pick them up, and they have the biggest smiles on their faces when they see, you and they just they seem so happy to see it. So it's just really nice. That's, doing an amazing thing here and you sort of feel that you, you, you've got to help out if, if you can at all. This Probably the best decision I've made in a long time, I think. So, yeah. It is one of the best things I've ever done. It's been a really, really great experience. It's better, you know? It's better. Yeah, it's amazing. Come in here and doing something like this, it just, it's just amazing. I've just had the best three months of my life, I think. And well, you hear a lot about charities where you send money over and it doesn't really go to the organisation. At least I can say that I've seen actually firsthand that the money actually goes towards the kids and they actually do get looked after properly. 
Sorry. It's really nice to meet my sponsor. <laughs> nice to meet you, Phoenix. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Just got simple words to say Just got basic chords to play I just got a simple mess today mm, And here it is Live, love, don't give up Laugh, cry, why keep your emotions trapped inside Listen, speak, you're beautiful and unique and oh, and if you never see tomorrow, make sure you've lived a life of happiness, not sorrow, oh, so greet each new day with a smile and remember this, that you are always someone's child and you're not alone. You're not alone, you're not alone We've all got different paths to take We've all got our own heart ache We've all got crosses to bear But we can soar like eagles if we dare so when you're feeling rather low Lost in a fog, not knowing which way to go Pause for a moment to realize There's a presence of love always by your side So live, love, don't give up, laugh Cry why keep your emotions trapped inside Listen, speak, you're beautiful and unique and oh, oh And if you never see tomorrow Make sure you've lived a life of happiness, not sorrow oh, oh. So greet each new day with a smile And remember this, that you are always someone's child not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Live, love. Don't give up. Laugh, cry. Why keep your emotions trapped inside? Listen, speak. You're beautiful and unique and a oh, oh. Tomorrow, make sure you live a life of happiness, not sorrow. Oh, so greet each new day with a smile.